Hello, I'm Mike Lamone. I'm a professor at the University of Michigan and the author of a new textbook, Data Analysis for the Geosciences. Hi, Mike. Thanks for speaking with me. Could you share a bit about your own scientific interests and what courses you teach at the University of Michigan? I am a space scientist. I study how the sun emits fast-flowing electrically charged particles, carrying magnetic fields with them, and how these particles and fields interact with planetary space environments, causing effects like the aurora, the northern and southern lights. I've taught the full range of courses in my department, from introductory classes in climate change and rocket science, all the way up to graduate level courses in fluid dynamics and space policy. What made you so interested in statistics and data analysis? When I was editor-in-chief of the AGU journal, JGR Space Physics, I saw a number of exchanges between authors and reviewers about proper statistical usage. I realized that we, as a research community, need to up our game regarding our understanding and use of these techniques. I want to contribute to that awareness and level of conversation across the Earth and space sciences. What motivated you to write a textbook about statistics and data analysis? I was asked to develop a new class on data analysis and visualization for our undergraduate program. We had a data class already that focused on Fourier analysis and periodicities, but the department wanted a second one on comparing number sets. I did not find a textbook that exactly matched what I needed at the level I wanted. And as I compiled content for the course, I decided to make it into a textbook so that my collection of material would be available for others. Who's the intended audience for your textbook? It is meant for upper level undergraduate students in the natural sciences. The applied statistics topics that it covers would be useful for any student across a range of science, technology, engineering, and math disciplines. I hope that it is also useful as a reference for more experienced researchers. How do you make data analysis interesting and unintimidating to students? I keep it real for them. I minimize the derivations and focus on applications. This book and the course that I teach from it is about how to choose and appropriately use statistical methods, not how to develop a new one. A big point that I often make is that much of what we think of as rules in statistics are really guidelines. Interpreting statistical results is subjective. Yes, there are lots of formulas and accepted traditions, but I try to dispel the myth that there is only one right way to do statistical analysis. What kinds of real life examples do you use in the book? I wrote it to appeal to students in my department at the University of Michigan, which is a collection of earth, atmospheric, space, and planetary scientists. My examples use data from ice cores, seismic movements, ozone levels, river water flow, galactic cosmic rays, Jupiter's magnetic fields, and much more. I hope that students find these natural world uses of the statistical concepts to be engaging. Your book focuses on the concept of uncertainty within statistical analysis. Why is this both challenging and important for students to grasp? Uncertainty is the key to the comparison of two numbers. Without knowing the spread of possible values that the numbers could have had, we cannot tell if they are similar or different. But we usually don't talk about uncertainty. And we often assume that it is small and can be neglected. I strive to make the point that uncertainty analysis is the path to better understanding. How can learning these concepts at the undergraduate level be applied later on in education and in the workplace? Analyzing the features of a number set and comparing two number sets against each other are essential life skills for someone in a science or engineering workplace. Data science is a fundamental skill that's highly transferable to other career paths. I try to make it interesting with the many different types of real life data and examples from research papers. I strive to convince them that this is useful, whatever their future direction may be.